Printify has officially launched their Amazon integration, and I truly feel that this is the biggest opportunity for print-on-demand sellers. And so in this video, I wanted to walk you through how to get set up with your Amazon account, what type of Amazon account you even need, how to integrate with Printify, and just answer all of the commonly asked questions I'm seeing popping up all over the place about this new opportunity. If you are new to my channel, Hello, my name is Taylor. I started a print on demand business about two years ago. I'll actually be hitting my two year anniversary next month in October. But in that last two years, I've sold over $250,000 using a print on demand business model. On my channel, I share my journey and everything that you need to know about print on demand to be successful with it yourself, as well as talk about passive income and entrepreneurship. So if any of those things interest you and you haven't done so already, be sure to boop the subscribe button down below. To get started with Amazon and to use Printify's new integration, you are going to need an Amazon Seller Central account. Amazon Seller Central is a completely different account than Amazon Merch. The main thing that you need to know is that Amazon Merch is actually something that requires an application. If you've done a little bit of digging on YouTube and you've been looking for information regarding Amazon Merch, you'll often see that it is very difficult to get accepted and that is usually a huge deterrent into even trying to sell with Amazon Merch. To get started with Amazon Seller Central, it is significantly easier. All you are going to do is just go to Google, type in Amazon Seller Central, or just click the link that I have in the description. It'll take you right where you need to be. And you are going to go ahead and click sign up. While there isn't necessarily an application process like we see with Amazon Merch, there is a, what I'll call a verification process. And this is just to make sure that you're a human, not an alien, and that you have the uh, legal information to be selling and starting a business online what you are going to need when you are signing up and to complete this verification process is a passport or a government issued ID. You are going to want to have your bank account information handy as well as a credit or debit card and your cell phone. If you are a registered business, maybe you have an LLC, you're also going to want to have your business details. So your business ID or an EIN number. Once you walk through the sign up process, it will take a few days. They say that it can take up to two days to a few weeks just to verify you are who you say you are. I personally found this process to be pretty quick when I set up my account and went through the verification process, providing all of that information. I had my account approved and ready to go the next business day. That's not to say that that's always going to be the case. I imagine if they're receiving an influx of signups and there's a lot more accounts that need to be verified, maybe it's going to take a little bit longer. So just plan on that it's going to take a little bit of time and you can be working on some other projects while you're waiting for your account to get started. Once you get the email that your account has been approved, now you are able to go ahead and integrate your Amazon Seller Central account with Printify. If you already have an existing Printify account, you do not need to create a new one. You will be able to add a new store under that existing Printify account, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. If you don't already have a Printify account, I will have a link in the description to get you started with Printify for free. Once you log into your existing Printify account or you set up your new Printify account, what you're going to do is go over to the far left. You are going to add a new store and we are going to connect your Amazon store. It is going to ask for your store name and then you are going to go ahead and click connect. On this window, you are going to click that you have an Amazon seller account because you do at this point and then you are going to click connect. Here it is going to bring you over to Amazon Seller Central where you are going to authorize Printify to have access to the information that it needs to integrate your account so that they're able to push products from Printify to your Amazon account. Once you authorize that, you are going to be brought to step three, which is requesting a G10 exemption. A G10 exemption is something that you will need for the products that you are pushing over from Printify to Amazon. This sounds really complicated, but I promise you it's not. All you have to do to get a G10 exemption for the products that you're looking to sell is in your Amazon Seller Central account, you are going to go up to the menu and then click catalog and you will see an option for add products. When you click that, you are going to go over to blank form and click start. For this, you are going to go ahead and type in the product. So if you're looking to sell t-shirts, you could just type in t-shirt 
and Amazon is going to give you a suggestion for that product type. And once you get this G10 exemption for this specific product type, this will be applied to that product type every single time you list an additional one to your store. However, if you are looking to add a different product type, say you're then looking to add maybe a mug, you are going to want to repeat this process and also get that G10 exemption for that different product type. After we click confirm, we're going to be brought to this screen here where we're going to check off a few different boxes. For this specific product type of t-shirts, we are going to say that this does have variations. So as far as the attributes and different variations that we might be offering with this are color and shirt size. And then as far as brand name, we are going to say that this product does not have a brand name. Click next. And here it's bringing you to a screen where you would be able to manually add a listing. We don't need to worry about any of that because we actually can push our product listings from Printify to Amazon and we don't need to do it manually on the Amazon Seller Central side of things. After I've put in the G10 exemption for the products that I'm looking to sell on Amazon, I'm going to jump back over to Printify where here I can go ahead and toggle the box of I have requested the G10 exemption and I can click complete setup. And just like that, your Amazon account is now connected to your Printify account. As you begin exploring your Amazon account, there is some verbiage that you might see that is a little bit confusing. You may see terms for FBA and FBM. FBA refers to products that are fulfilled by Amazon. This is not something that refers to us as print on demand sellers and not something that we need to worry about. FBM is fulfilled by merchant, which this is what we are doing as print on demand sellers. We are using a print provider as our merchant who is fulfilling the products for us. So FBA and FBM are just referring to two different fulfillment types that exist within an Amazon seller central account. For this integration to work, you do have to have the professional plan, which is $40 a month or $39.99. And then for any product that you do sell, it will be a 15% fee from Amazon. What's important to understand here and just with print on demand in general is the benefit of print on demand is you are essentially paying and fulfilling for orders on demand. You will receive an order for your product and then at that point you are going to pay for the production and fulfillment of that order. With that, you will pay the cost of the product and to fulfill the product prior to receiving the payment or the revenue collected for the product sold. With the professional plan, it's important to know that you are going to be paid bi-weekly. So every 14 days essentially, or twice a month, you are going to receive the revenue from any of the orders that you've received. That means that there can be a 14 day window where you are going to have to front the money for the production and the fulfillment of the products that you sell. This is what's typical with print on demand, no matter the platform that you sell on, but important to know because you are either going to want to have some money set aside for a potential influx of orders that you might need to pay for prior to receiving that revenue, or what I personally recommend is looking into a business credit card. This can be extremely helpful because you can front the production costs on the business credit card, which is gonna give you a little bit more of a cushion to collect that revenue and then pay off the business credit card. And the difference between would be your profit. When it comes to sales tax, if you're familiar with Etsy, Etsy remits the sales tax for you as a seller on their platform. In this case with Amazon and Printify, Printify actually will remit that sales tax for you. So there's still nothing that you have to do on your end in regards to the sales tax for the orders and the products that you're selling. This is something that I see being asked a lot. And I think it's being confused with Amazon Merch. Amazon Merch is a platform that there is limits to how many uploads you have each day, but that is not the case with Amazon Seller Central. As far as I know, there are no limits to how many products you can upload each day. But it is important to note that with any products that you push over from Printify to your Amazon account, it can take up to two days for that product to be visible and able to be purchased by customers. So there is a little bit of a lag time in pushing the product and actually having the product available for purchase. 
Setting up your shipping is incredibly easy to do. If you're familiar with Etsy, then you probably are aware that on Etsy, we have shipping profiles. Amazon has something similar, but it is referred to as a shipping template. And you are able to fill in your shipping template and add in the pricing and shipping times and where you want to ship to, whether you just wanna to ship to the US or maybe you want to also offer international shipping for your products. You can do that all inside of your shipping template. When it comes to properly setting up these shipping templates, I am going to link Printify's how to get started on Amazon video. There is a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough in that video that I used to set up my shipping templates and I found it really helpful and I think it'll be a great resource for you if you're looking to do the same. Amazon Seller Central does allow individuals outside of the US to sign up for an account and sell on the platform. But just be aware that with the Printify integration, it is required that you are using US-based print providers. This is not an issue if you do live outside of the US, but just something to be aware of. And you do have to be prepared with your verification process items, just like a US individual would. So making sure that you have a passport or government issued ID, as well as that bank account in information and all of the verification documents required mentioned earlier in this video. Absolutely, yes. This is what I am personally starting off by doing. I think this is the best approach for individuals who already have an Etsy business and are seeing sales over on Etsy to bring those selling products that are proven. Bringing those to Amazon is going to be the best way to get started. You already have something that's doing well and the data is there behind it that it's likely going to also do well on a platform like Amazon. But the benefit with Amazon is you're going to now be reaching a lot more people, like this many more people. So definitely do that. Last week, I did an interview with Steven Chin on my channel. I will have it linked up above and below for you to check out if you haven't already watched that interview. He is a very successful Etsy and Amazon seller, and he shared a lot of really great tips and strategy to what is going to probably be the biggest opportunity for print-on-demand sellers when it comes to selling on Amazon. But what he shared and what I believe to be true as well is that personalized products are really going to be the biggest opportunity on Amazon. With Amazon, you are essentially going to be competing against other products that have Amazon Prime shipping or same day delivery, next day delivery. And when you are offering a product that is more generic and very similar to another that somebody could receive a lot sooner, it's going to be very difficult to get somebody to purchase your product as opposed to the one that they can get faster. And so with that, having a personalized component, I think gives the customer a little bit more patience and understanding in what they are purchasing and they're willing to wait for it for that reason. Personalization is a strategy that has worked really well over on Etsy and I know it will continue to explode on Amazon as well. But if personalization is something that you're a little bit intimidated by because it is work to personalize products, then I am also going to leave a link in the description for you to check out Hello Custom. Hello Custom is a personalization automation software. With Hello Custom, that personalization will automatically be done for you. So it saves you the work of having to go into your design software and make that modification to the design yourself and then re-upload it to the product. Instead of having all of those extra steps in between, with Hello Custom, it's really just the click of a approve. And once you click approve, it is going to continue that fulfillment process with Printify. And yes, Hello Custom has officially launched their integration with Amazon as well. They already integrate with Printify, now they integrate with Amazon, and now we have this triple threat combination of a strategy for how you can really stand out when you are looking to sell on Amazon. At the time of recording this video, I do still have a lifetime access link for you for Hello Custom. With this link, you can get access to Hello Custom for just one payment of $67, and you will never pay a monthly subscription fee again by taking advantage of that opportunity. So if the link is still there, take advantage of it. Amazon does have a very generous return policy of 30 days, and that is not something that you can necessarily control when you are selling products on their platform if you are offering just regular standard products. 
However, if you are selling personalized products, then those actually do fall into a different return policy and they are non-refundable or non-returnable. If you do have a product that the customer receives that has maybe a typo in it or it arrives damaged, you as a merchant and you as a seller, I would encourage you to still refund them or send them a replacement as well. This is going to be something that is actually going to be covered over on Printify side of things. If there's really a defect with the product, Printify's customer service is gonna be helpful in managing that refund or also the replacement of that damaged product. But this is definitely the benefit in offering personalized or custom products because you do not necessarily follow that standard 30 day return policy that Amazon does offer for any other products being sold on their platform that are not personalized or custom. This new integration is one that I'm really excited to be diving into myself. And I know many of the individuals who are in my mentorship group at POD Connection have already been tapping into as well. If you're looking for more in-depth tutorials, maybe how to list products, how to list personalized products, definitely leave a comment down below. And if I see there's a lot of interest, then I'm more than happy to make a video like that in the future. I have all the quick links and resources that I mentioned throughout this video in the description box below. So be sure to check those out. And as always, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.